I'm already literally a god and I have a handgun. Today's gonna be a good day. We're gonna do a lot of damage to a lot of morons. And to start, we've already gotten hit once, so we're off to a very good start. We picked up enough coins to level up. Plus one pierce? Absolutely. You're not a real god until you have a lot of penetration. And that's really what I'm here to do today, to share my penetration with everyone willing to be in range of my eyes. They're even sending in the scary ghosts, but they'll get penetrated too. When I need to, I can use my ultimate ability and then we can rapid fire to really mow down some morons. That also seems to slow me down. We're already getting such cool upgrades. Movement speed, shooting speed, reload speed, plus one ammo, probably that. Now I fire two bullets at once, for hopefully double damage, but certainly double the penetration. And that's just gonna help me kill the morons all the quicker. My reload speed is already so quick that if I could actually cut it down by 50%, it would basically be an instant. Some of these guys are also getting very, very quick, so I'm gonna have to be careful of that. It's not gonna take much to get hurt a lot. I think we're actually going to take 30% damage here. Uh, enemies are lasting just a little bit longer than I would like them to. Another thing I want for everyone's sake is a bigger light bubble. It's annoying that we can't see what's on the edge of the screen. It's especially dark for you. Starting to get quite a horde of morons piled up, so let's see if we can just penetrate our way through them. That's a lot of uh, damage. Perfect. Twins too. We get plus 10% damage, plus one ammo per shot, so I think we're triple shooting now. Uh, at least thought we were going to be, perhaps not. The enemies are definitely getting quicker, so we're gonna have to, yep, uh, go for a little journey over here. They definitely get fast, quick. Luckily, we can use our big ability when we have to, to mow them down, but the little ones are actually the problem, the fast ones. The big ones don't really bother me, they're just annoying to kill. If you're curious about our damage, it's currently 16. Shots returned to player is kind of interesting, so it should double hit them. Or something, maybe if that's, yeah, if we miss, the shots come back to us. So now that I know that, I might have picked other things. Hey, what are you? We're going to go ahead and use my ultimate ability on whatever you are. We're going to go ahead and shoot first and ask questions later. We're losing HP quickly. All right, don't mind me. Just going to get another little level up. Move way out of the way. That thing's very quick. Okay, and he can just go ahead and cruise through the uh, other enemies as well. We're going to take extra piercing. Uh, actually, that was a lot of extra piercing, so that's going to be big for us. Now our shots are going to go way in there. I need to stay way away from the boatman. He's got far too much reach. I have my ultimate again, though. Okay, move way away. Use that. Come on, got him. So hopefully he dropped an instant upgrade, but we're also penetrating very deep now, so that feels good. He didn't drop an instant upgrade. It was just an experience piece. That's less fun. But, uh, I'm going to take up my frustration on the absolute horde of morons in front of me. We're going to fire away. Plus 50% damage? Why, yes, I would like to go from 16 uh, up to 24. Oh, that's much better. These guys are dying actually quite quickly now. And that's even some of the bigger ones. I think I used my uh, ultimate ability accidentally. Not really sure how I did that, but that's fine. Off we go. I'm trying to just kite these morons in a big circle. That way I can stay near all of my pickups. We're actually going to take plus three piercing at this point. That way my bullets can just hopefully never stop. I want them to go through everything. That way when there's a close ghost, my bullets are going to go somewhere. Even if they miss, they come back. Something else is also shooting at me, so that doesn't feel super great. We're going to go ahead and pin things out before we find out what's shooting at us. There's these uh, little snipers sitting around. They're not very strong, but they can hit me from a long ways away. So we'll take 20% incendiary shot. Uh, I assume that means that 1 in 5 is going to light on fire, which is kind of funny. And with our penetrating shots, we should be starting a lot of fires. I went to check my stats, uh, hoping that it would uh, pause the game. Turns out it doesn't, so you can look at your stats, but everything's going to come and kill you. And we're going to take care of the sniper guys anytime we see them, because they're going to cause me problems if they get to build up. Ow, okay, they're definitely hitting me more than I would like, and I think there's a boss in there. Uh, there's something in there, so we're just going to go ahead and absolutely fire a bunch of shots that direction. See, the trick now is we just can't get hit by absolutely anything. But that's okay, because I wasn't getting hit by anything anyway. Gonna use our ultimate ability. We gotta kind of take down the horde if we can. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. I put myself in a really dumb spot. We're okay somehow. Wow, those skeletons are quick. Everything is getting really quick. Okay, take out him. We gotta circle back into the experience. We keep going this way, we won't get anything. None of these are really particularly helpful, so I'm just gonna take max HP. That gave me one HP back, so that does give me a free hit, so a little bit of a uh, wiggle room. Oh, I see what's happening. These guys are playing right quick like the necromads. They're bringing back dead bodies to fight me, so we need to get them dead, because the skeletons are not strong, but they're very quick, and more importantly, annoying. 
we're going to go ahead and see if we can clean up a little bit of the clutter well hopefully getting rid of those we're penetrating deep so we should be able to get way in there to them i've also just unlocked poseidon that's like the angel of death that hit me and really hurt i'm actually going to take 20 percent hp at this point uh i thought that would give me some hp back it didn't so we're just going to go ahead and hopefully light the angel of death on fire please don't hit me uh please don't hit me and it hit me Athena is obviously much better suited to war. Extra HP or XP plus 100% HP or XP. I'm not really sure which. I earned about $1,137 that time, which is enough to get the Arrow of Artemis piercing plus 10. Probably should have saved my money for a gun. But you know what? We're going to be fine. We have massive piercing this time to start, so we don't need to upgrade that. I think we're just going to go raw, raw damage, and then nothing can stop me. We have 10 damage to start, which is not great, but we can upgrade that quite quickly with a few lucky upgrades. We didn't get damage, but we did get some reload speed. The reload speed's already quite quick, so yeah, it's almost instant now, so we can almost just continually fire. One thing I also want is 30% shooting speed, 20% movement speed. The movement speed kind of boned me last time, so now at least I can weave in and out as my godly little angel. The extra movement speed is actually huge. Immune and reload is kind of neat. That's like a special. But our reload is so quick that I feel like that's kind of dumb. So we'll hit 10% crit. So 1 in 10 will be a crit. I'm not sure how big our crit damage is. I don't know if we can see that somewhere. I guess I could just pay attention for a number bigger than 10. Okay, we have double crit damage. The extra movement speed is actually huge so far. It's just allowing me to position myself so I can get uh, maximum penetration. Plus, I'm really feeling the extra experience gain that I believe we're getting, because we're leveling up much quicker. That means we're much stronger. I guess we're also going to take 10% stun, stun chance, so not only are we doing crits, but we're also stunning things, which might actually be good for bosses if that counts. I said I wanted damage, and so far we haven't added any of that, so that's disappointing. Next, we're going to add 30% damage. That should take me from 10 to 13, which is actually a really big increase. I am the Angel of Penetration, and that's bad news for all of them. Until we hit the big guys and then they absorb my stupid bullets. Who doesn't love twins? We're gonna take twins and now we're firing our double shot again. So we're getting a uh, double shot with big damage, bigger damage, and penetration. Plus the stuns and crits. I forgot about that already. So at least some of those bullets now we have a 1 in 5 chance of having an effect on idiots. Even half that if you want to factor in both effects. We're going to get 20%, I think, XP. I think I was reading that as HP before, but it's actually experience, which is really good, obviously, because we level up. Had to take a hit there. Almost had two hits. Oh, I forgot I have an ultimate ability. Probably be using this a lot more. Uh, that actually absorbs experience from all over the place, and I really like that. Our favorite canoe-wielding moron has returned to see us. Uh, luckily, we're very quick this time, so they're less of a threat as long as we're not walking straight into enemies. Also not sure. Wow, that was really dumb. If I can stun this idiot or not. Also, where's all my HP? Can we get HP back at all? That would be so much easier. Maybe what this thing drops gives me HP back. I didn't really see what it did last time. Okay, get away, get away. I'm going to use my ultimate ability. I think that's going to absorb all the experience and stuff on the ground. Or maybe not. Okay, we got some good options here. 50% damage is definitely the one I want. That's going to put us up to about 20 damage. Even with this extra movement speed, it's actually quite hard to maneuver. Okay, that definitely did give me some HP back. Okay, we're going to get plus 1 ammo, plus 10% damage. We're doing 21 damage per shot. And we're firing 3 bullets. So that's a big boost to damage. Next, we're going to take 20% crit, 10% damage. That's going to give us even more. So not only are we firing 3 bullets, our crits are up to 47. Now nah, we're getting somewhere. I really just need to get these big guys gone because they're absorbing all my penetration. They're penetration absorbers. I'm going to see if there's anything I can hoover up from the distance. There we go. More damage again. 30% crit, 20% damage. So now our crits are up to 57, our base damage is 28. That feels much better. Now we can uh, absolutely wreck the snipers. Even the big guys are having some struggles with this now. We're uh, able to take them down fairly quickly. We're going to get a bigger collect area and extra XP. And that's also going to feel very good. The extra XP really has made a big difference to us. We're doing a lot of damage we weren't before. We're definitely starting to be uh, infringed upon a lot with all the enemies. We're moving fast, but so are they, so we tend to collide very quickly. I guess we'll take 20% projectile speed. Uh, not really sure if that's going to make much of a difference for this gun, but I guess the bullets get to where they're going quicker. Our skeleton wielding friends have showed up again, so we need to dispose of everything because corpses are going to start coming back to life again. What I need to remember to is just keep shooting. I have a way of uh, stopping shooting for a sec. I need all the damage going out. More experience, more collect area. Speaking of which, can we just go ahead and uh, suck a bunch of that in from everywhere? We're at level 15. We made $2,000 already. Starting to be a lot of enemies on the ground. We're kind of getting forced out of our fun zone, but at least we absorbed all the experience before we left. And we have a whole horde of uh, skeleton wielders. Okay, we just wrecked them. 
I'm actually going to take more movement speed and more shooting speed. That's just good DPS, but also gives us the ability to avoid the boat wielding morons. Definitely got a little too confident there and wandered into a spot just like that. Wow, that's a lot of uh, everything. Okay. Uh, plus 20% incendiary shot, so we'll start getting some nice burning going while we're out there and then things can die off screen. Then not really our problem. And the incendiary might be coincidence, but suddenly I feel like we're just suddenly able to uh, tear things apart. But we might be hitting a lot of things just out of frame and they burn to death, which leaves us with more wiggle room. We're going to take max HP. The H's are clearly defined, so now we know the difference. These snipers and their bullets are getting really, really hard to avoid because they're shooting from everywhere. Oh, the Angel of Death is back. Good. We can light you on fire this time. And we're quicker than you are, so we can just kite you in big stupid circles. It turns out the Angel of Death has some extra moves that uh, were completely a cheap shot. That's not fair. This time, we're going with a big rifle. It has four stars of damage, which means 40 to begin with. 40, plus all of our penetration. So once I get this firing like a machine gun or whatever we want to do with it, we'll be in better shape. It can only fire three bullets before it needs to reload, but that's not a big deal. This is going to make things easier, and I've got a bit of a plan as to how we can make this work this time. This character's special ability is to absorb all the experience, but also give you a boost. So if I actually leave more of it out there and use it as a boost once in a while, it's better for us. 30% damage. So we went from 40 to 52, which is enough to wreck these guys by a lot. My plan isn't really working because I can already absorb from so far away, so I might as well just go like this now anyway and just, you know what, give me that extra experience. 50% damage. So now we're at 78, which seems kind of absurd, but let's see how high we can get this. We also want this movement speed. I'm going to need that because I'm going to be doing a lot of panic firing to kill the idiots. I also don't kill the ghosts in one hit and that's going to annoy me so we still need much more damage. 50% reload speed sounds nice. That means more time spent penetrating the ghosts. We can try and see how many shots it's going to take to take out big boys. Three. That's actually really not bad. If I can three shot most of the enemies we're going to be good. I do like the effect we have too when we shoot this gun we actually jolt backwards a little bit. That's going to get me into a lot of trouble but I find it quite charming. Well we're at it extra XP that means more levels up. I wonder how many creatures we've inadvertently killed by firing a sniper into oblivion. Like we probably killed 85 innocent creatures somewhere off the edge of the map. We're going to get more experience and collecting area. We can definitely put that to good work. I really want more damage though so if we can get some of that going I feel much better. I guess we'll take stun chance, which is also fine, it's not huge, but at least it will be helpful to some degree. I guess things know they're doomed, like if they get hit by the sniper and don't die and they get stunned, they know a follow up shot is shortly behind. That one's kind of funny, executes enemies below 20% HP, but we lose one max HP. I think if we use that, the problem is if enemies are below 20% HP, I'm probably within one shot of them anyway. So we're going to do XP and collect area again, but it's definitely nice to see there's some abilities like that going on. I feel like we rushed all the way up to 80 damage and then didn't really get any- Oh, this is a really bad spot to be in. Uh, wow, we just bounced around and took so much damage. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take, uh, shooting speed and movement speed and hopefully not wander directly into the horde of idiots. And then we're just gonna go right back to firing, doing bigger circles this time. Much bigger circles. It definitely gets hard at about this time. They're throwing so many enemies toward me and I don't know what to do about it. We'll take critical shot, I guess, because those are really gonna hurt. And our boat driver is back. Uh, luckily we can hit them from a long ways away and we're quite quick, so it shouldn't be long till we destroy them. Okay, the boat thing is already dead. That did give me a level up as well. So we'll take extra crit and damage. So my crits have a 30% chance to trigger if I saw that correctly. Uh, it doesn't feel like it now though, does it? 172 per crit. And that's going to help give me the edge I need to destroy everything. Because 172 turns out is a lot of damage for these poor little creatures. I'm going to take one more max HP. I don't know if we're going to get any heals. I just want extra health now because it's really easy to get hit 3, 4, or 5 times in an instant. The critical shots are absolutely wrecking everything. So we're actually starting to one shot a lot of creatures so if we can get a little more crit chance going all the better. Plus one ammo per shot. Hopefully these are fairly like lined up. We might start missing a lot of our shots because of this but we're getting double damage essentially. Normally when games implement a double damage thing they actually reduce the damage on both bullets. This one straight up lets you have double damage so I'm here for it. Uh, okay I just shot myself into someone else that was really close as well. What I'm going to need is triple shot probably. That way I can actually send one shot down the center. HP every two minutes. Actually give me that. We'll slowly put our HP back. So now we just don't want to get hit for a little while. That's all. Part of the problem with me getting hit is when I shoot I do bounce myself back. I have that recoil and that's knocking me into enemies more than I should admit. 
I'm actually going to take immune and reload. I could probably use that at this point. I don't love that, but it's pretty helpful. Uh, one of the things I just need to focus on now is killing the big boys and these, definitely these. But the bullet sponges have been a problem because they're really absorbing a lot of my damage. So we uh, need to make sure they're dying. Wow, that was uh, got away with one there. Okay, here's another good one. We're going to fire three per shot plus 10% damage. So now we're firing a shot back down Main Street again, which makes it a little easier to aim. And it's also going to get me out of trouble here and there. But now that the bullet shooting idiots are showing up, I'm going to need to take an extra second to breathe in between shooting. That way I can dodge and position myself accordingly. Uh, that was dumb. Definitely having problems with me being too quick. I keep walking basically straight into idiots. That's great. 30% crit, 20% damage. So our base damage is 113. Uh, our crit chance is going to be 60 if I saw that correctly. And yeah, now we're sort of wrecking everything. But I'm getting excited about that and having trouble dodging some of the idiots. I do think I got some HP back though and we actually just cleared the entire thing. Which is, uh, we haven't done that in a while, especially not this late into the game. Okay, I definitely just walked into a bullet when I absolutely shouldn't have. Uh, but that's still gonna happen more than it should. I kinda want shots returned to players at this point, because that way anything we miss should come back and hopefully save our lives a little bit. Because I will miss some shots, and it's much better if they still have some kind of use. Or maybe with the sniper they just never come back again, I'm not really sure. I feel like I don't get enough warning time. Sometimes when those bullets come toward me like that, it's actually really, really hard to avoid because I'm walking toward them and they're coming toward me. Out of all the choices here, I'm going to give myself a little bit more movement speed. That might work against me, but it will also give me a little bit more room to wiggle out of danger. Especially because we're about to fight the Angel of Death, who has some really cheap attacks. And look who's already showed up. Luckily, we're quick enough. I'm hoping we can just stay like way, way out here. And then we can see the attacks coming. And hopefully do a ton of that. Okay, it can also teleport. That I didn't know. Okay, this is the bad one, so we gotta move way far away. Okay, we're good. We're learning. Good, good. Gonna hit him with a one of these, one of these. We're doing some big damage to it. Give me your heart. So now that that thing's dead, maybe incendiary, incendiary shots? The things that don't get dead have a chance of getting lit on fire. Not the most useful in the world at this point, but I'll take it. Actually be good for bosses. Okay, enemies are absolutely getting bananas right now, so we're just doing our best to not get touched by anything and absorb what little experience we can get our greedy hands on. We definitely got hit by a projectile because we walked straight into its face, uh, but I'm sure you can see why that would happen. We're having trouble avoiding things because there's so much going on and it's happening so fast. I might just start walking in the direction that I'm shooting and, and keep going like that because I'm not sure else I can survive. We're going to take uh, no ammo usage potentially, mm, but yeah, I'm mostly just going to try and walk in the direction I'm shooting. That will hopefully clear mostly a safe path. We're doing the damage we need to wreck everything. Uh, it's just the projectiles and everything showing up so abruptly is kind of getting the better of me. Yeah, damage in bullets and everything feels really good. We're going to see what's out there for us to absorb. Hopefully we get another quick level up and something very mighty. Okay, we're doing all right. Three minutes left to go. We're going to be okay. Doubled HP? Yes, please. What did that do? Did that put a shield on? I got hit, I think, already. Uh, the things come at you so fast in this game that as soon as I look at anything at all, I walk right into an enemy. It's a very reactive type game. I'm managing so far. Uh, I'm not really sure what's happening with my HP. It turned blue down there. So I'll just accept that for what it is. That was satisfying. At this point, I'm just trying to use this ability to absorb whatever uh, uh, experience might be out there. Never mind. I didn't see that one. I was looking away. I decided to try a submachine gun build. Uh, this might be the answer. This thing pumps out a lot of damage with the right upgrades. That was how quickly we killed the first boss. We are currently doing 39 damage with a 60% crit rate. We also have a 10% stun chance. So with how fast we're shooting, that means a lot. We're also going to have a 20% incendiary. So we're doing a lot of different effects to the idiots quite quickly. We also have a colossally high experience boost. I've now got a big upgrade. My stun chance is 50%. So basically every time we pull the trigger, if both of our bullets hit something, it should be stunned. We're at the 7 minute and 40 second mark. We also have that ability where enemies below 20% health just instantly dies, so we've effectively knocked 20% off everyone's HP. It turns out that the bullets firing at you are still really, really hard to dodge, and I just ate like three of them, so we went from doing really, really good to not so great. Luckily for us, we can still add extra bullets and damage, so our damage just went up by a lot. We're now firing three bullets and just straight up raw damage, so 85 on the crit, which is a lot of our shots. 
And we get to see that any direction I'm shooting in, there's a lot of damage going out. So hopefully it's killing enemies even off the map. And then we don't have to worry as much. That actually seems to be working. I'm just firing double HP, definitely. Just sort of firing in direction, then we can walk over and there's a giant debris field of uh, upgrades here for us. Okay, it's time for the uh, other Angel of Death, the fake one. We'll see how quickly we can kill it. It's probably not going to last long with us. We're going to make ourselves immune and reload and we're... Wow, that hit us that whole time. I thought we were safe. Well, you know, we did a lot of damage. That's fine. 